Okay, I just got around to watching Capone, Tom Hardy's Capone 2020, and honestly, I don't know how I feel about the movie. I really don't. This film was under the radar, so to speak. Maybe it's just me. I guess I guess I need to speak for myself because I didn't know this movie even existed until like r- recently. I guess it's because of the whole coronavirus thing. I'm not sure, but it just the trailer just popped up in my YouTube recommendations, and I was watching. I was like, "Wait, Tom Hardy plays Al Capone? Hell yeah, I'm gonna watch this!" And I watched it, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's not a bad film. It's just. It's just, I don't know, and I want to throw this out there, I am not a skilled film critic. (laughs) I want to put this out there, I'm not a skilled reviewer at all, I don't make these, uh, these film analysis videos, you know, and I'll go into super, super detail of it, you know, using super long words to explain such basic concepts, (laughs) that's not me. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot from the hip, just say how I feel, and let's, let's hope that's (laughs) good enough, I guess. With Al Capone, well, first in my head, I have to judge judge it on what's the filmmaker's intent and did he achieve it? So basically, this film, uh, this film Capone, it actually talks about the end of his life, Al Capone's life, and not the end of his life where he's old and wrinkly, not that. It's just before he passes away, he enters this stage of insanity. His mind starts starts to crumble away. I'm not sure in the film, because in the film, they said he had a stroke, and then he be and then he starts to lose his mind. But in other sources, I remember outside the film, but I remember something that he had disease. When he came out of prison, he had a disease in the brain, and it really really messed him up, and his brain starts to degrade. So I I guess I guess the two are related. I don't know. But something off, something I had to after he came out of prison because of tax evasions, that he was completely messed up. His mind starts to deteriorate. This movie is basically that. This movie is Tom Hardy plays Al Capone, going through this quote unquote journey to the end point where his mind just completely is completely gone. Where he's just he's basically a child. That's the journey. And that is the filmmaker filmmaker's intent. And did he achieve it? Honestly, while watching the movie, yeah, I think he did. I think he did. The performances were solid. Tom Hardy is Tom Hardy. He's great. He really blew me away when he first spoke. I was like, okay, all right, cool. Because every time when Tom Hardy plays a serious role, he always does that Bane grumble voice, especially in Peaky Blinders. But this one, he he, it blew me away, and I was like, oh, holy crap, that's. Ah, you going, Tom? And yes, like I said, the performance was good. The story that they were trying to tell. So he was basically in this one location. I mean, the film just jump in different locations, but mainly is his house uh, secluded from you know the city. And the story, the story that plays out where he, you just see it firsthand how he. How his mind is detached from reality, like from from one minute he's sitting on the chair just staring, staring, staring outside, talking to his friend, and then his wife comes and he turns around. And the friend he's talking to just disappears, and I like that. That was really cool, and it feels like you're in Tom Hardy's position where you're just like, wait, wait, what? What's going on? That was really cool, and you could see the effects that's happening on his family members, on, 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 on his underlings and stuff like that. And, you know, and there are some secrets, you know, because he hid, he hid his money. I forgot, I forgot the amount of money, but it, it's a lot. And he hid it and he just completely forgot about it because his mind started to deteriorate. And, and the thing that comes in my mind, look, look, did the filmmaker achieve what he wanted to achieve? Yes. He wanted to tell a story about him. His process of losing his mind, how he affects people, and he pushed the performance great of the of the actors. The story he told was great. The you know all the technical stuff, the cinematography that was good. All all in all, it was a good movie. I enjoyed the dialogue a lot. That was also great. Um, 
But the thing is, I the thing the thing that keeps grating my head because because I'm giving this I'm giving this film a great a great uh I guess you could say review I guess I, I I'm, I'm hesitant to call this a review. My thoughts is that the movie that he tried to tell is good, is really great. But my problem is my problem is not necessarily with the film. It's just that. How can I explain this? Is that there's a great film in there. Just the cut. It's just. You have Tom Hardy as our fucking Capone. It's like it's it's. It's like it could have been so great. I mean, the concept of his concept of him losing his mind and telling the film about it. It's good, but it's just that since you have Tom Hardy as Capone, wouldn't it be great to see? Wouldn't it? Would it not be great, right, to see a film? Tom Hardy, starring Tom Hardy as Al Capone, right? And then you see him literally before he went insane, you know, doing his dark shit, doing doing bad shit, you know, intimidating people, you know, commanding people. You don't, it's because when I'm watching this movie, the thing that keeps playing back in my head is, oh my god, what this movie could have been, you know. And I this and this is what makes it hard for me to talk about this movie because I have to be fair on the movie, right? But I, I I can't deny that the thought that keeps occurring back in my head was like, oh God, would it be cool to see this? You know, would it would it not be cool to see Tom Hardy as Capone near the end, like before he went to prison, like doing his thing, like intimidating, you know, possibly killing people, you know, you know pushing. You know Tom Hardy's acting ability as Al Capone. You know, it, it, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it, you know, and I really think it's a missed opportunity here. It really is, and I'm not to say, and it doesn't mean that he that the I forgot the director's name, Josh Trank. I think that's his name is the guy who did um, no, not Fantastic Four. I mean, he did Fantastic Four, but I'm trying to be terrible to him. Ah, uh, what was the film? Chronicle. I'm pretty sure he did Chronicle. I, I'm. I'm pretty sure that would be embarrassing if I was wrong, but that's not to say that he he just removes the concept of him losing his mind. Like just focus on Tom Hardy being Capone. And that's it. He could merge the two. He could he could he could he could create a movie where it's just like you could see Al Capone doing his business. You know, seeing Tom Hardy. You know, crushing in the role, and then like maybe towards the end, not towards the end, but. At the end section of the movie, then you could see him like coming out of prison, what he went through in prison, you know, and then coming out of prison, and then you could see him losing his mind. For me, that would have like got me attached to the character, I guess. I mean, you, you know, what I mean, I don't say <laughs> he's a murdering psychopath, so I can't, I can't say that. Oh, I'm attached to this evil person, but you know what I mean. You feel for the guy a little bit. Because honestly, I did feel for the guy when I was watching the movie, the Capone movie that I just saw. I did feel for him, like, the, th the what he went through, like, you know, him crapping the bed, uh, doesn't recognize his son, and he was being abusive to his wife, and it, it's not him, it's not his fault. And the, and the people in the house, his wife, his son, he they know that it's not his fault, but it's just, you can't help what you feel, especially the thing that he was telling him as well. It, it was it, oh god yeah it was hard it was hard crushing when i was watching this movie but at the same time my head keeps going back oh what it could have been you know oh god what it could have been like tom hardy in not not in his prime but nearing the end you know where he's at the peak as al capone and he's doing his tick oh god it's, it felt like i was robbed by that movie you know what i mean but the the, the direction that the that the director done in this film and the and the um i guess i don't know i guess the idea i guess the concept of what he wanted to do in this film just solely focuses on Al Capone losing his mind i think he did a good job but then you start to you start to have this feeling of yeah but it could have been more you know it could have been more I recommend people to give it a shot. Give it a shot. At least. But I'm pretty sure people will understand where I'm coming from. Because you see Tom Hardy's performance as Capone. And it's just like, God, imagine 
him like doing his thing like commanding people and him doing this dark shit and it's just before he went to, it's just like oh god you know and him you know hiding his money and him maybe reflecting on his life when he's in prison and he's seeing him you know seeing all the dark shit I don't know man it's like there's so many things you could done with it and Josh Trank he's a capable director and it felt like it felt like it, this was too this was too um weak for him like this was less for him like he he could he could do more he could have done more and it's just like even the tagline like we all pay for our crimes in the end you know like imagine watching a movie where Al Capone does his thing, does evil shit, and he goes to prison and he's reflecting on his life. Or maybe even when he does such shit, he's not reflecting on his life. And then when he comes out of prison, he has a stroke or something. And before he begins to lose his mind, he could tell he's losing his mind and he's like, oh shit, what have I done with my life, you know? Like he put his family in danger, you know, stuff like that. He could, you could really connect with the character more if they went with that direction. But he went with this direction, and it's and it's good for movie for what it is. It's a good movie for what it is, and I think people should check it out. But it's just, I don't know, man. It's just it's how I feel. It's like this could have been great. Not to say it's not good, because it is good, but it's not great, you know. I don't know. I recommend people should check this movie out. It, it is as much as I'm bitching about it, but it is a good watch. I recommend people should watch it.